Good morning, we're on the Sunseeker stand. Obviously, everybody's heard of Sunseeker, who create a whole range of different motorboats, super yachts, and a mega yacht with the ocean. However, they were also famed for their XS2000 in its heyday with high performance craft based on a Fabio Butzi racing hull. Have they lost that pedigree though? Well, not necessarily, because tucked into the corner of the Sunseeker stand is the Hawk, powered by two 400R L6 Verado Mercury racing engines. Come on board and check out this wonderful craft. These two 400Rs are the L6 2.6 litre Mercury outboard on Sportsmaster gear cases. A little bit of a story behind this is when they were developing this boat, I actually took them out with a race boat with the two 400Rs and we put that boat through its paces at 80, 90 mile an hour with lots of NDAs and stuff signed to really showcase what these engines were capable of and how to really dial them in ready for this hull. This again, like the old original XS2000, is based on a Fabio Butzi hull. This one is built by Simon Woodpower and uh, commissioned for Sunseeker. You may notice that it has a Hypolon uh, rib collar going down to midships. This is the Fabio Butzi stab design, comes from uh, the military uh, style craft from FB Design in Italy, and it helps have the benefits of a rib at the slower speeds, creates really good stability and obviously a little bit of cushioning as well in rough weather. With this type of craft also, used as a super yacht tender and a high performance chase craft, it also helps with uh, fendering etc as well when coming alongside your mothership. Come on board and we'll show you some features of this race style high performance GT. First off you have a really fantastic walkthrough transom with really nice uh, bathing platforms either side and then you have this really nice deep sofa in the back because this boat is a very fast very quick craft so you need to be safe and secure so you can walk through and then when you've uh, got ready to go to sea you fold this back add in the little infill and uh, you are back to your three person bench seat in the rear. You're then greeted by four Fabio Butzi helm seats. These are fantastic, they're off their high performance uh, craft and uh, they're used in their military applications and high performance leisure boats. And Sunseeker here have put their own twist on this with fantastic beautiful upholstery and uh, they're electrically adjusted bases so not only can you use this as a um, bolster seat, but you can drop it down and you have then one wonderful kidney support, keeping you really planted in the seat at high speed. Moving forward into the helm station, you have a really cool race inspired helm. Starting in the middle, you have the Mercury DTS race throttles from Mercury Racing. These have a shorter shifter. So Aaron, if you come around to over here, I can show you how these operate. So you run your gear selection with these short uh, stubby um, controls on the right hand side, and then your throttle is here. So your, your slowest speed is in the uh, negative position you push the engines forward and then you have your full range of throttle. This gives you really good control of the full rev range of the engine and when you're planted into your seat you have a, a really nice throw action so you've got ultimate control rather than um, a normal leisure application throttle. Because it's race inspired they've also gone with the uh, smart helm. This allows you to be able to control things on the boat from the switches here, which never move. So the, the steering wheel moves below the centre control unit. Again, really nice and safe for high speed operation. You're then met with two Simrad NSS uh, Evo 312s. And these screens are superb. They give you all of the different information you need with then Mercury vessel view um, overlaid. So if I show you on the Mercury vessel view, you can see this is in simulation mode. It will give you all your engine data. It means that the dashboard is uh, uncluttered, but overlays the information that you need. It's 
really nice carbon fiber inlay into the console. You then have a scan strut, a uh, waterproof mount, a Simrad VHF, and a really high spec fusion stereo. Your visibility is superb. You're greeted with this carbon fiber uh, windscreen that goes into its T-top all in one piece. And this takes all the wind out of your hair while you're going along. And it also gives you some great protection from any elements. To show the little details that Sunseeker put in with their pedigree, little just touches like adding a flare to the side of the um, windscreen allows the wind to be deflected away from you and allows you to be able to chat to the rest of the crew at high speed quite comfortably and removes that side windage that you'd get. You have a good compass forward, some deep cup holders, and again, really nice touches like the carbon fiber handles. There are grab handles everywhere on this boat because it's a high performance craft. So you've got some really nice aluminum stanchions here. Behind the seats, there are other additional areas to be able to hold on. Moving forward, you then have a great entertainment space. Not only do you have storage on the deck, you have a mass amount of storage under the bathing area at the front on the sun pad. By lifting this up, this whole area can come up and gives you a massive amount of storage. Plus you have an anchor lock forward and then you're greeted too by this wonderful upholstery, carbon fiber grab handles yet again, and a really nice social space. Now, if you're on this boat all day and you're partying, you're probably gonna want a heads, and that is nestled into the front of the console, where again, you've got a really nice high quality heads. And you can tell this is a sun seeker by its attention to detail, all the fittings, etc., are really nice high quality and you feel that you're in a high performance little boat. Again, the carbon fiber impression tubes for the stab technology by Fabio Butzi makes this boat a really stable platform because it's quite a narrow and long hull. This is a race uh, twin step or, or even maybe triple step hull on this one. Um, a racing pedigree hull and that means that it's narrow and long. When you have a very narrow craft, it can tend to list in a beam sea um, against the wind, um, or it creates a, a rocking motion at rest. Having the stab technology with the sort of three quarter tubes allows the boat to be able to be very stable at rest. And also when you're in a beam sea, keeps the boat quite planted. It adds to that uh, beam sort of semi-artificially. So, that is the Sunseeker Hawk on display at Southampton Boat Show.